Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and for some reason I reloaded my checkpoint and there's a, f a, a poltergeist in here. Um, so welcome back to Prey. I'm gonna have to shoot something rather quickly. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where the hell is he? Yes, I'm angry. Or maybe he's upstairs. Let me go check. Okay. This is a, a peculiar start of an episode. Yeah, there's definitely something upstairs. So let's just go in Rambo style. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, there's a lot of noises going around. I can't get up through here, so I'm going to have to go the other way. This is very hectic for the start of an episode. Okay, let's calm down just a little bit and check it out over here. So I just wanted to check out the remaining rooms and check out if I can open up any of the terminals over here. I don't see any mimics immediately, but there's a lot more coral where that came from. Oh, there is a phantom upstairs, so that was probably what I was hearing. So open up the door, buddy. And I'll shotgun you in the face. Does that sound like a great plan? You know what? Fuck it. Hi. There we go. It was a double phantom even. I felt kind of badass, I do have to admit. That felt really, really good. Double tap in the face. Okay, I'm going to explore the upper area just really quickly to see if I missed any terminals that I can now unlock with my uh, abilities. Okay, I do get a call, man. That's fascinating. There's something almost angelic about those golden filaments, like frozen light. The Typhon wave it out of the thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Not yet. I wish you were with me, Morgan. Not the way you are now. The way you used to be. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times. Okay. Thank you, Alex, I suppose. That was a bit weird. Might have been out of order to where I needed to uh, first hear this, but... There's another terminal here. We checked that out already. So, yeah, I'm going to continue my tour of the upper area. Aha! So I can use the bolt caster here in this room, because I couldn't open that before, but if I use the bolt caster in this room, and then I need to hit the button there. There we go. Did that open the door? Yeah, there we go. That opened the door. Okay, that was great. So, and now we can check out this terminal, although I think I... No. Didn't taste like chicken. Mitsuko, I need a report on 37's condition in my transcribe ASAP. Either that Psycho is the luckiest prisoner in orbit, or worse, we've got some problem in what we're feeding the Typhon. And that can't happen again. Morgan said something about wanting to question 37, but that's low priority. It was practically... Wait, why did you move? It was practically unresponsive before. If nothing pans out, I'm going to prep 37 for an encephalectomy. Helen Barker. Okay, and then implant mirror neurons and typhons. I'm going to bring it up again. Next R&D meeting, will you support me? Sure, Alex will probably shoot it down, but say the, the idea gets off the ground. Still have two big questions to answer. What's the test environment and whose neurons are we talking about putting in them? Volunteers are a no-go. So that's talking about something we heard before. The reason the typhons attack us a bit is because they lack mirror neurons, which, mean, which means that they can't feel empathy so they can't they're not realizing what they do to us when they do what they do um so that is interesting because they try to actually implant somebody with them then so does that mean that there's a human in control of the typhoon at the moment because they experiment oh we still don't know where alex is is alex the boss is Alex a Typhon boss? That's gonna be interesting. So aside from a few more items, I haven't seen anything uh, useful here. So next up, the next area we haven't revisited just yet is the cargo bay. So let's head through the outside back to there. So cargo bay is right there. I think there might be... Oh yeah, there's definitely a Technopath over there. Um, how far can I throw an EMP? And then disruptor. Like this. I'm gonna get hit by cystoids. 
keeping an eye on my uh, health bar there. Okay, that seems to be fine. So I'm gonna keep the cystoid nests alive. I don't really... I think I'm getting chased by something. Oh, there's a weaver over there. That's the problem. Well, I can take out weavers with the Q-beam. I know they're pretty weak to it. And last time we found a hell of a lot of Q-beam ammo. There we go. Goodbye, weaver. Goodbye, weaver. We can take care of ourselves now. There's a safe here as well, apparently. A safe we even have the code for. So one, four... Oh, four, five, nine. And check that out. Two more neuromods, which is fine. I do get some radiation here. So let's try and go back in. Stop boosting, please. Stop boosting. Oh, there's even a... Is this open? This is open, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I think I can go in the same way I went in originally. So this... Oh... Damn, well, the coral has been going through here as well, but it seems like people are still alive, which is good. Um, what does it actually do? Oh, that's just lowering and raising the elevator. Okay, so I think in the guts loading bay, we also have another number uh, for the treasure hunt. There it is, I think. There we go. Treasure hunt, our third number. Number written down. So there isn't much else to see here, aside from the fact that the coral has spread all over the place here. But might want to just talk to Sarah again. She seems damaged. Doctor... Morgan... Thank you. I feel like we have a chance now. This... This doesn't wipe away what you and your brother did. But... You're different than I expected. Good in a fight, too. Okay, it's a bit of a weird answer, but anything else? You know, if you ever wanted to work with my team when we get off this death trap, I'd consider it. Okay. You'd have to report to me, though. And I'm not as friendly as it may seem. Okay, fair enough, Sarah. Why did Micah go to your office? Are you too bad? Never mind. I don't want to know. Well, kind my of. Girl can be... Okay. Ever past that torch she's carrying. Okay, yeah, so Michaela is definitely back with us, but yeah, I feel like this is everything we needed to see in the cargo bay. We never opened this up, did we? Can we open this up? Oh no, cargo bay A is of course the outside, how we came in, so that makes sense. Um, other than that, I think we're fine in the cargo bay. So next up is for me, is the shuttle bay because in the shuttle bay is our last number of the treasure map although now that we're here we could also take a quick nip into life support again because life support is where kirk rammer is supposed to be and that's one of our final uh side quests we still need to do so life support oh wait find kirk rammer in life support is why has that now closed off I don't know what happened. Suddenly, Kirk Rammer disappeared? Oh god, there's another... Ah, oh, crap. There's another nightmare here. I'm just gonna leave. Just gonna leave. Oh god, there's a vault. Fuck you. Yup, okay. Die already! Uh, that engineering operator isn't helping. Oh god! Oh! I'm almost dead. But I'm fine. I'm still alive. Holy crap, let's fill up my suit again and then eat some more. You know what, what does it as this actually do? The super fruit. It gets me to full health in one go. I don't know what else it does, but... Killed another nightmare. Jesus Christ. 
Okay. Well, with that done, might as well check out the rest of this again. So I tried to look it up because I want to avoid having to go to the life support again later on. Uh, according to the wiki, um, I need to find Kirk Rammer's phantom remains in this room. In the shuttle bay. But I'm pretty sure I checked everything here. And there's nothing that indicates any phantom remains other than the one I just killed in here. And that one didn't contain the items I was looking for, so... I think I'm a bit glitched, or maybe I missed it the first time around, but I don't see, other than this, I don't see any other phantom remains. So yeah, I did a bit of further looking around and apparently, yeah, this quest can be bugged if you go into life support before you get the quest. And I've definitely been to life support a bit too soon, so definitely bug this quest, so that's sad, I can't do that side quest now. Which means I can go to the shuttle bay, or is this the shuttle bay? No, that's escape pods. I can go to the shuttle bay and uh, go from there to that final number of the treasure hunt. Oh wait, the airlock to the shuttle bay is locked. I'm gonna have to find another way to get in there then. What's closest to it? Probably psychotronics then. Yeah, there. Let's try that. So if we go through... What the fuck is that noise? Uh, through guts. Wait, guts? I saw a red bar there for a second. Mimic. Oh, what the frick? Ah, uh, okay. That was a weird noise. What the hell are they doing? They're all going up the stairs. Which means that I can kill that one in one go. What the hell is going on? There's a mimic dance over here. There we go. How many are there? There's at least two more. I'm gonna reload. There we go. And then the last one. There we go. That's a whole lot of mimics. Oh, Jesus Christ. These enemies. They respawn way too quickly. I just been. I started the episode here. Hi. Bye. God damn you. Stop spawning. Okay. So, there's. Yeah, there's multiple objectives over there. But. But, 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 but. If I go into the guts from here, I still don't know what this does, but never mind. If I go into the guts, 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 I might be able to access the shuttle bay. So literally flying through the guts, because I know where I need to be. I don't really have time for anything else. Aha, yeah, this tunnel. I remember this. There was a weaver here. So I'm gonna get the Q-beam ready, because that's definitely still here. And there we go, shuttle bay to the right. I should probably look behind me first. No, nothing there. But we never went in this direction. There is some radioactive stuff in here, but I might just blast, blast it. Go, 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 go. There we go. Oh god. Hi. Die. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. So, heal up. There we go. Healing up with apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. But... What else do we have here? So that thing goes by, and we end up with another health kit over here, and then what? Do we go up? No, that's a pipe. Over here then, I suppose. Probably should check over here. I've definitely 
not been in here yet. And there's more coral where that came from. Ooh. Pretty. There's something sparking over here. Is that an electrical panel that's going to shock me to death or... Those are broken turrets. Yeah, two broken turrets. Not something, not something I need to worry about, but I can check this out. There we go. There's definitely something... Yeah, cystoid nests. That's fine, but there is a door at the end there. But what's that in the middle there? That's a technopod, okay. I could probably blaze past, yeah, blaze past the cystoids in my jetpack and then disrupt the technopath while I'm getting closer. There we go, and then break. And it's down for the count. With our masterfully done disruptor. There we go. Everything down. No need to worry. I'm a badass. I mean... M Morgan is a badass. Not, not me specifically, just me as Morgan is a badass. Now we have another shipping container here. I can hack that open. Why, thank you. And there we go. A level 4 hack. Like it was nothing. Should probably get my shotgun out. Might be something. Ooh. A whole batch of recyclers. And EMP charges. That is nice. And 200 QP cells. That is a very nice stash. Just gonna head to the back here to see if there's nothing else hiding in this cargo container. That's a nice hole. Then We have another corpse up there. And then that's the... Wait, what? Cargo bay? No, I want the shuttle bay. Must be something else. Cargo processing. Edward Douglas. Hello. Sir, so, more spare parts, and then, wait, what is this, what is this, cargo transfer doors malfunction reactivation required, okay, uh, activate cargo bay processing, must activate in cargo bay, guts processing then, not sure what I'm doing here. Activate cargo processing. Activate cargo processing in the cargo bay. I have eight minutes to do so. But I'm right next to cargo bay. Are you ready? Okay, Edward. I'm in position here in cargo bay. Once I execute the cargo processing command on this end, we will have limited time to activate it on your side in guts. That should re-establish the cargo transit. Thank you for helping me with this. Next time I promise I will not forget my transcribe. I swear I had it with me this morning. It's like it just grew legs and walked away or something. The instant you ping me, I will trigger this side. Ash. Okay. 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 Then I need to go into cargo bay. Okay, so we should be in cargo bay right now. Although I don't have a single idea where in cargo bay we actually are. This must be... Hmm. This must be... I have no idea, I'm just saying this must be, but... Probably that Jiro G stuff in the cargo bay processing... Where the hell am I? Okay, multiple objectives over there. Might as well fall... Ow! Oh, wait, no, no, I know where I am. Yeah, this is that vertical shaft. I need to go in there. Zoom! Okay, 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 now I know where I am. Then, I need to start the... Ah, processing, okay. There we go, utilities, start cargo bay processing. There we go. I have no idea what that just did, but it's been restored. Open cargo door in the guts, okay. Um, so there we were setting that up. Ash and Eric, but then he didn't get any feedback from Ash anymore because, of course, Ash was dead. Okay, the cargo bay door. Probably up there. Okay, so let's go back here. 
So, let's check the utilities. Open cargo door. Is that something I'm gonna... Ooh, yes. It's definitely something I'm gonna see. Double shooting. And that's the end of the quests. And this leads into a room with a lot of cargo that was unopened, probably. Ooh, 0 0.16 seconds left. Holy crap. Okay, so that opens that up. I don't know. Yeah, I can go in here. Still don't have the weapon equipped. Should be careful. And that just gives me a mat kit. Unless there's something else on the other side. Nothing on the other side, so... Yeah, not that big a reward, I feel like. Um, that door doesn't seem to be openable, and otherwise these are just normal blank storage containers. But, the game still makes a distinction between the shuttle bay and the cargo bay, because this still says shuttle bay while we're at the door for the cargo bay, which is interesting. Let's open this up as well. There we go. The four uh, level four ones are actually easier than the level one ones. Oh, I, d I did open that up already. Just from the other side. Okay. Shuttle bay. Is this the shuttle bay? Oh. Yeah, this is the shuttle bay. With all the sister nests are hanging around. Well, let's see how good the Q-beam actually works on. Seems to be working great. There we go. Only had to fill, well, empty an entire clip on that just to clear all the cystoid nests. And then we can go in here. Are you okay? You are now. Okay. Shuttle bay and fuel storage. So this is a an entirely new area then. This is gonna be interesting. So I could I could open that up, but I don't see why you should open that up. Another weapon upgrade kit, always nice. And an EMP charge allows us to kill more uh, voltaic phantoms. And this opens up fuel storage. Okay, so this is the what's going on. So it's definitely a thermal phantom over there. Playing with the recycler. There's a lot of oil. There's an electric panel that doesn't work. This is interesting. Okay. I can do this. I need to be moving. Because I think he can actually charge mimics with his energy. Which would make them fire mimics. We don't want to have fire mimics around here, right? Um, oh, I think I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting something. This thing is gonna... This is gonna... Yeah, there we go. Let's repair that first. Okay. We can quench the fire here a bit as well. Yeah, I think I've hidden the fire more than I actually quenched it, but... Brittany Lavalley. The fuel storage keycard, okay. I'm actually gonna put my light on here. There's a few recycler charges and the corpses of the Mimic and the Phantom. Okay, fair enough. Thermal Phantom in fuel storage, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, there is this thing I can repair as well. And, wait, hello? Hello? Malfunction. Maybe I need to turn the power on as well. Ah, there we go. Emergency power. Oh! Okay. He's dead. He's dead. I kind of jumped again. I totally don't need to jump for those things, but I still did. I still did. It's because they look like spiders and I hate spiders. Let's recycle some stuff. Oh god. One was turned into... God, I passed that toolbox twice before that happened. Okay, totally not on edge. I am completely fine. I hear more twitchy noises. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's check Brittany's emails. 
Hey Brit, I must have just missed you. Please let me know when you're back so you can let me into Shuttle Bay. Sorry to keep bugging you, but security hasn't issued me a keycard yet. Thanks, Edward. And Edward was the guy that was dead outside that cargo bay. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. I don't know how big mimics can get when they're uh, transformed. I need to prepare this as well. There we go. And we get the glue can and fabrication plant. Don't really need that at the moment. But there we go. Fuel storage. So I think this is also where that final number is supposed to be. At the top of... There we go. There, there we go. There's the fourth number. The fourth and final number at the top of the graph lift. So we can now use the number at Abigail's workstation in the crew's quarters. We'll do that later on, but... We see that you're gonna risk no oxygen. Let's unlock this. And now we can get into the shuttle bay, which seems to be an entirely optional separate area. Hazardous atmosphere conditions. System malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Well, I'm basically an engineer, so... Might as well do that. So I really like this, that there's a lot of areas here that you can just access. Even though we might come back here for the main story, I feel like it's really cool that we can access all of these areas beforehand. Is it realistic, right? There's an entire station here, not just the areas that you go to along the way that you need to go to. There's at least three mimics and a voltaic phantom here, by the way. But I really like that about the station. It's completely open. Um, there's ways to open up pretty much every part of the ship from the start. Which is really cool. And this is a completely optional area we haven't just visited yet. Uh, according to the loading screen, it's the start and end point for anybody that comes through the station. So everybody arrives here and everybody leaves here. Uh, except if you're dead, of course. The shuttle control room. Let's just target that guy. He can't reach me yet, but at least, you know... I'm just gonna pass. So power is not on in this area, air is gone. So that probably means we can fix that along the way, but can we open this up? There we go, six out of six airlocks opened. So we have full access to the ship now. From the outside, I mean. Let's grab all of that while that opens up. And now, there's an area down below. If you need to fix something, you always need to go to the bowels of it. So let's take a look. Oh wow, this is not ominous at all. This is the perfect place to put a nightmare, by the way. Oh. Okay, so there's two radioactive barrels over there. That I probably can't really circumvent. Is there something I need over there? I think there's a corpse there. You know what, I'm gonna check. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna quick save first. So cheeky quick save and then go in. And I think there's a corpse here. Yeah, he just has some stuff. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. I have tablets for that. There we go. I have medical attention. I'm fine. Okay, so that's basically all there is to it. There's a corpse there. I can't even get the trophy anymore, by the way. Of finding everybody on the ship. Because Kirk Rammer is bugged. And not... Mimic bug, just really video game bugged. I hear things above me. So there's probably one of the bigger Typhon up top. I shouldn't probably just pick up items that are lying around. Might be Mimic. Might be a Mimic. But I have a shotgun. Oh, Frank Jones, locked. Wait, might have something for that. Uh, let's eat the random dim sum. Man, those level two things are hard. I had to retry that three times. Okay, three emails. Uh, Emmanuel, I'm not mad about the HR thing. In case you're wondering, word of advice, if things ever go to hell here, you'll want to come to the shuttle bay. Escape pod E33, that's all I'm saying. Trust me on this. Frank. And then lunch. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Em, I switched up my shift hours today so I could have lunch with you. What do you say? Sorry, busy. Um, hey, Em, how about today? Franklin, I don't like to be called Emma or Emmy or Manny or anything else besides Emanuela. And I'm sorry, I'm working the lunch shift today, so I can't eat with you. Old repairs, I need you to halt any... Okay. Oh, press sneak. That's the trophy you get from reading all the emails. Wait, that... Okay. 
I need you to halt any work on the escape pods. The parts you're using aren't rated for those systems. You'll be informed of a new shipment when they arrive. Keep this to yourself unless I tell you otherwise. Alex. Oh. So Alex sabotaged the escape pods on purpose. Yeah, it does seem like Alex knew what was coming. So, but we still need to fix everything up here. I think if I go down here, there's more... Well, relaxation areas, it seems like. Um, this seems to be the area the engineers were actually working at. And there's another corpse here. Scott Parker. And he has the shuttle control room key. Okay. So that might help us out a bit. I have to see. There's another note here as well. Annie, I know you will never read this. I ran out of my office when I heard you screaming, but there were just too many of them between me and you. You were always really nice to me. You didn't deserve to die like that. And now they're in my office, and I'm surrounded out here in this cage. I can't help myself, much less you or even Mia. Even when I try, I still screw things up. I'm sorry. So he ran away from probably the room we just saw. And still died here nonetheless. Did he... What did he do? Because he doesn't seem like he was attacked by the mimics. I think he just died here because he didn't have any food anymore. You can open this up. To get back Morning. to Air supply system this area. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. So I think it was a voltaic, right? So EMP. Oh, where the hell did he go? Because I will be able to fix everything. Oh wait, there's a lot of mimics here, right? I know there's mimics. Saw them running around. Where's the freaking voltaic? There we go. Greater mimic. It just transformed. I should probably not. Okay. Die. There were at least three, I think. Unless it was two mimics and a voltaic. Probably should get back to the shotgun. So graph shaft controls. Let's activate that. Um, and then we can go into... See, there's more emails. Hey, I don't know what problems you got going on, and I honestly don't care. Just get your work done on time because you're holding me back. From Frank to Scott. Annie, I lied to you the other day when I when you asked if I was okay. I'm not. There's something wrong with me, but I don't want to know. But I don't know what it is. I don't eat. I'm tired all the time. I feel like shit. And the only thing I want to do is sleep. And even then, all I get are nightmares. I went to see Dr. De Silva, but she said there wasn't anything physically wrong with me. Wanted to see Dr. Cole, but I said... Wanted me to see Dr. Cole, but I said no. I know Frank would just give me shit if he found out I was talking to a shrink. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You've always been nice to me, I guess. Maybe I just wanted someone to remember me after... And then he died. No, wait, this is Mary Stevens. Scott was the guy outside, but it's... Wait. So there's still that... Um, voltaic phantom around here somewhere as well. Let's just block that off. I'm gonna get mimicked in a second. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get mimicked in a second. I'm totally safe behind my psychoscope. Psychoscope. Oh god, what the hell is this? There's like a chair here with a makeshift desk. This doesn't make any se sense. Please seek a breathing apparatus Thank you. immediately. Now, where the hell? Where the hell is the freaking voltaic? There's more. Ooh, that's always nice. More healing items. I'm gonna get my psychoscope out. Okay. Well, this is not nice, is it? Where are you, Mr. Phantom? I know there was a voltaic phantom in here. I am 100% sure there was a voltaic phantom in here. And now he's gone. He just naffed off. There's a note here. Whoever keeps making duplicate items stop. Fabricator is not a toy. Materials are not unlimited. Don't. Just don't. Just don't, game. Where the hell did that guy go? He can't have gone anywhere. 
This is literally a closed off room. Let's get back to the shotgun and explore the rest of the ship. Well, the ship, the area here. There's a staircase up. Oh, this one is actually open. And there's a corpse in here of... Is this Emanuela? No, Anastasia, so Anna. Um, I, I'm, I want to take the food you have. There we go. She doesn't seem to have anything else, though. So I think Emanuela is still missing. The one uh, Frank had a, an eye for. So let's check out the upper floor now. So I'm super freaking out because the Voltaic Phantom is just gone. That was a, a trick on the mind they shouldn't have done. It's not very nice. Still don't know where the power is either. So the power is out and air is out. And I'm still repairing just holes in the pipes. Like a good boy. This area is big by the way. It's very vertical. Which makes it interesting in its own right. And there's another Morning. corpse. Levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Tom Cooper. Tom Cooper. And then we got to the control tower, okay? Shut down the graph shift shafts to keep them from spreading. Utility on my computer tooling room lower level. Scott. So they might be here as well, but not for now. Not for now. There's two more doors here and I definitely hear more mimics. And another corpse. With a shotgun and a neuromod. Blaine Cooley. Oh, that's a technopath. Flying turrets means Technopath. Yeah, there it is. Can I actually fire at him from here? There we go. I got him from here. Wait, was he hanging out at the top of the building the entire time? It's a bit weird, but they're from behind. So I've always read these, the survivor's account of the evacuation. This is day two. I woke up, still in the street. An M35 truck was stopped near me, and the driver was yelling at me to get in. There were several people in the back already, four or five soldiers and about a dozen civilians, including children. I got in the truck and someone gave me a bottle of water. I asked what was happening and a soldier just shrugged. I told him I had driven the M35 during my service. People in the truck were crying and I looked back. The pink smoke was now mixed with grey and swirled high into the sky. There was so much of it and it seemed to cover the entire city. We kept picking up people until the truck was full. Before we got to the highway we heard shooting. The soldiers climbed down and readied their weapons. The commander told me to drive the truck as far as possible to the west and they ran towards the shooting. So those soldiers gave up their lives to free those people during the evacuation. Of whatever happened on Earth, we still don't really know what happened. It was some sort of uh, science accident. There we go. Hacking succeeded. And that means we got, aha, the security station over here. So let's download that. And back to the emails. Hello, anyone still there? We're trapped by the escape pods. Fair enough. I think I also needed to find someone, right? Tobias Frost, here we go. Let's track him. Because he's part of the quest Morning. for the... And that's, of course, in life critical. support. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. He's important for the quest with the psychoactive water. I don't know if I want to actually complete that quest, but... That's that. Then we have this door. Marked as exit. But I'm guessing it's not going to be an exit. Okay, so that gives us access to the adjacent room. So this is probably the area that people first come to yeah so we have shuttle boarding waiting room and employee entrance okay this area is big by the way this is a lot bigger than i anticipated um i'm gonna need more time with this this is not gonna be the rest of the episode well it's gonna be more than the rest of the episode so that's employee entrance we just went through there i just want to check out the toilets here you know what? No, I'm fumbling at the toilets while I should actually be repairing the area. So I killed the Technopod, which must be part of the problem. Uh, I'm just going to avoid trying to look at too many things at the same time now, because I probably need to find a room that allows us to fix any everything here. Jesus Christ, this area is big. This just keeps going. Although, pilot lounge, 
We have the key for that. 0691, there we go. Probably a mimic here somewhere. There's a dead person in here, so I'm assuming there's gonna be one. The shuttle control room. I think I already had that key. This is another way to get that. Galel Shave. See, this is Captain Hale, Shuttle Exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge. Getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's uh it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? Derelict shuttle. So there's probably a shuttle still out there waiting for rescue. Find out what happened to Hunter Hale and the shuttle Exalt. Well, knowing this game, they probably all died. If we follow escape bolts again, we're going down. So those are our escape bolts specific for this area. We're getting lower than I think the mechanic pit was. I still don't know where exactly we're heading towards. Aha! Hello? Is someone... I'm in the escape pod with Emanuela de Silva. We're stuck in the launch tube. The hatch on the outside is supposed to blow when the pod launch initiates, but... I guess the bolts misfired. Could you help us out? You'd have to EVA to get the hatch off from the outside. I know it's a lot to ask. I don't know what else to do. Sit here and starve, I guess. There's an override switch behind the panel to force a pod launch. But don't hit that until the outside hatch is off. We'd be blown to bits. Okay. Escape attempt, but we do get another transcribe. I don't know why I can't reach anyone, but I am dead in the water. Repeat, I have zero engines. I'm drifting. God damn it, Steve, answer your transcribe. <sighs> All right. Shit. Investigating cabin. I have a sidearm. If all clear, I will attempt to EVA to an airlock. Okay, and we got another one. Mayor, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Send an operator. That's what I'm doing, Niels. It's not responding. None of them are. Shit. Was it those things? Did they shut the air off? I don't know. It doesn't matter though, right? I mean, it should be hours before we run out. <sighs> No, Niels. The system is working in reverse. It's pulling oxygen out of the air. We've got... ten minutes. Tops. What? But... Warning. Air supply system malfunction. Okay. Please so that's what happened. The system kind of reversed. And there's another transcript from Drew Springer here, so keep on going. Frank, you in there, man? What's wrong with these pods? I... I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's your job to know, damn it! You inspected them, right? Yes. Then why the hell is the launch sequence doing jack shit? I don't know, Drew. I'm sorry. What about your pod? Open up! I... I can't do that. What are you talking about? Bolts in the outside hatch misfired. We're stuck in the launch tube. Ugh. You didn't wait for anyone else, you son of a bitch! I hope you starved to death in there! Okay, so yeah, definitely Frank is an asshole, because it's weird that we haven't heard about Emanuela, as Frank is the only one doing the talking. So I'm guessing that's his hatch. How are we gonna fix this? So this guy tried to get out, Leon, but... So that's the hatch on the outside. Huh. But it also seems to be one bolt missing. So I'm guessing... The one that's half open, but this can't be it, right? Because there's nobody in there. Or is there? I don't see anybody in this one. So they're not definitely not stuck. Aha! Uh -huh. So pod 2 malfunction. An auxiliary launch controls. You can launch the pods. But what did the quest exactly say? Because there was something I couldn't do before we actually released him. Because he would basically die. We can actually see the, the thing that the Typhon are making over there again through the window. So yeah, we need to go to the exterior to do that. And we need to go to the exterior for Hunter Hale as well, probably. 
Might be worth investigating to see what happened. I could use a security station to track Hunter Hale. Warning. I could, but there's something else I need to track either way. So, next up we'll do that. But uh, for now, I'm going to take a little break. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode where we finally found the shuttle bay. Um, and next up, we're going to try and save all those people stuck outside. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. And see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.